Hey everyone, today I've got the new Jurassic World Carnoraptor to show you. This is part of the Dino Hybrid line of dinosaurs, which uh, a lot of them are the designs from Jurassic World the game. The one on the cell phone, um, possibly the, the other one too, but I, I only play the one on the cell phone, so this is the same uh, type of design, the level 40 Carnoraptor. Let's take a look at the box. Let's see, we have the nice uh, logo, Chomping Jaws. And let's see, fantasy scene, which means that uh, you won't get these uh, bubbles and genetic code when you buy your dinosaur and play with it. It's just on, in the picture. Hybrid, Colonel Raptor, product and colors may vary. It's made in China, all that good stuff. Let's see, Universal Studios, Hasbro, Jurassic World. Uh, do not give this to children zero to three years old. Poses require hand support. We will check that out when we open it and see if it stands up. Hybrid Dinos Battle for Survival. Here is the barcode. Uh, here is the uh, Hybrid Indominus Rex. It's not the level 40 one from the game. It's just it's a different one that they have. Here is the Ankylosaurus with the armor. I've got a video on that. I've got a video on that. Here's the older Tyrannosaurus Rex. They have a newer one. This part Dilophosaurus. Uh, let's see. Also look for those. Those require hands for it again. Made in China again. Here's a weird number right there. Okay, includes figure. Yes, I hope it does include a figure. I, I like my boxes of dinosaurs to include a figure. Here's my knife. Where is it open? Here it is. Yay. Okay, we got some tape here and we got some tape here. Let's see if that will come open easily. Yes, it does. Okay, it's got these neat little paper twist ties. And that's good enough. Okay, he is loose. He's come out of the package. Okay, that is a really cool looking dinosaur or hybrid. Some people uh, don't want to call the hybrids an actual dinosaur, but I'm just going to call it a dinosaur for this video because it looks like one and it's made of different dinosaur parts. Let's see. Does, how do you get the jaws chomp? First, I'm just going to do it with my. My hands like that, which is probably the wrong way. Just want to look in there. Uh, the color on the tongue and the roof of the mouth is really nice. Looks like a real nice realistic color. Uh, we have the nice bright uh, orange red skin with the almost looks like a copper underbelly. I don't know if that's metallic or not. Can't really tell. Um, let's see. We have uh, yellow and, hmm, is that brown or black? Kind of a reddish brown and a brownish black. Stripes, Jurassic World logo. A little bit of dino damage. Uh, the piece, there's no piece that comes out. There's no button. It's just painted on there. Just like the uh, Velociraptor one. Right there. He has a nice horns on the head and a very nicely painted eye. Um, these are uh, from the uh, Carnotaurus jeans. Like that. This is a regular Carnotaurus. As you can see that their heads are very similar. But his body is mostly Velociraptor. He's got the big claws on the feet and uh, the uh, similar build. On this side, we have a screw right there, and uh, that, that seems about... Oh, there's another one right there. Okay, so there's two screws. Here we have some kind of words right here. Let's see, we got a number and some stuff about Hasbro. Okay, let's see if we can get him to chomp. There we go. You uh, push the tail down, and the mouth opens, and the head and neck move a little bit. Kind of sideways. Kind of cute, kind of cool. You can do it really fast. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't really do anything if you move it sideways. Mostly just up and down. Okay, the arms can go all the way around. Same with this one. The legs can. Oh, the legs are kind of soft. Um, see if the the Velociraptor is like that. 
Because uh, that's, that's kind of weird. It's very bendable. Let me see. Was this one like that? No, this, one, this one's a little bit harder. I guess the red plastic is a little bit softer than the, the green plastic that they used. Uh, but that's alright. It's, it's still uh, hard enough to stand up, I'm pretty sure. Uh, like that. Uh, I think he's resting on his, his arms. Uh, let me see. Sometimes it works if I put him the other way around. Hmm. Maybe he'll stand up like this. Yeah, he is actually standing up by himself. There's nothing under his oops arms. Um, my table is not quite level. That's why different dirt angles help it stand up better. But uh, I'm sure you can get him to stand up at your house. It's not it's not that hard. All right. Oh, let's let's take a look at the spines on his the back of his head. Those are really nice. And let's uh, get some bumps on the top of the head. Got ridges and uh, folds of skin all over the place. Nice details. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, this is a mixture, okay, in, in the video game, this is a mixture of a level 40 Carnotaurus and a level 40 Pyroraptor. It is not actually Velociraptor, it is a uh, half Pyroraptor. So, um, that is pretty cool. It's, it's cool that there are a lot of different types of raptors in that game. Let me see if I can find one right here. I think he's right here. Okay, so as you can see... This is the same body type as the toy. Mine doesn't look the same uh, color because mine's only level 20. When you get them to level 30 and then level 40, they become much more brightly colored. And uh, sometimes they grow extra spikes or spines depending on the species of the dinosaur. But you, as you can see right there, that is what this is based off of, the design. All right. Uh, uh, oh, here's another screw. Three screws. I didn't see that one before. Alright, I hope you enjoy this video. Check out my other videos. I've got lots of other Jurassic World and Jurassic Park videos and other kinds of dinosaur videos and other kinds of toys like cars and all that. Uh, check them out. I hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to see when I put out new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!